Hey, what is up, boys and girls? It is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new identity video. And today, we're going to be talking about just a lot of different things that I've found in the streams and like just on just different things floating around, you know, just just uh, compile them all into this little video for you guys. So the fact that the release date is, you know, going to be released <laughs> this month is very uplifting for me. And I like the fact that they got their new office. And this is actually in the background here is the um, video, you know, of their office, the video tour. So I'm just going to start it off right now with, you know, apartments and stuff. And there actually will be mansions and there will be um, capturable gang houses or cartel houses. And you'll have to be able to keep those in power if you wish to hold those uh, mansions or houses you know, I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be low-end and high-end ones for the low-end gangs and the high-end gangs. And speaking of living on, you know, different places, you can actually live on yachts. But you can't fully cu customize it, so like, I don't know, you're missing a lot. You're missing out, you know, a lot whether or not you would have a, you know, a house or a yacht. That's actually a rhyme, but anyway... You can also get into trouble. I don't think you can actually go in and steal people's stuff. But maybe they can make it different on the servers where, like with trespassing. I actually, they actually brought it up in the uh, video on Twitch. And as of now, it's not illegal to go onto other people's farming land and whatnot. But you know, who knows? Maybe a governor will make it uh, legal to where you can shoot somebody if they come on your land. And next, we're gonna go into the functions of the AIs and the NPCs. You know they're gonna be pretty much only manning the counters you won't really see an MP uh, NPC driving and another you know NPC that's gonna actually be like kind of interacting and walking around is gonna be obviously the animals and the pets are gonna include like normal stuff like a dog cat maybe a hamster but nothing like exotic like a llama or a monkey or a, a baboon or something like that and the animals, there's there's already a bear, so there's gonna be bears. There's deer's bear, uh, there's deer, bear, and other North American wildlife. And also on the more career side, there can be dirty cops. So like, whenever you're off the clock on whatever career you have, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And I don't know if there will be repercussions, like if you get in trouble maybe with um, doing like a cartel thing, and then you can maybe get fired from your cop job, who knows? And then the cops and the criminal balance is going to be where cops will have an advantage. But there, I think they said that there would be a limit on how many cops can actually be in a server. So if you get in and you're a cop and there's already, let's say there's a server limit of 20 cops online, then you're not going to be able to sign up until one of those cops gets offline. And I really am hoping, I'm really hoping that we have a good balance of cops and criminals. Because if there if there's no balance, then a cops won't be able to respond to a criminal going and robbing a bank, and you know it just wouldn't be fun. It would take out a lot of you know RPG element in the game. And in the future, they actually do want to have a mail delivery job and other mundane jobs like that, but not as boring as you know just sitting at a cash register. It, it sounds kind of fun like if you're doing it in real life, but it's definitely not fun in a game because, you know, there's just going to be very long periods of time where nobody is actually coming to your store. And in the future, Identity is going to be able to support modding, but not at release. So if you guys are modders and you are wanting to mod with this game and make it, you know, kind of more fun for you, then in the future, you will be able to mod. And once again, guys... It is Dragonfly Todd, and I just want to tell you that I'm pretty sure that this game is going to be coming out this year. I really hope it does. And this, the fact that they showed us a video of their office just shows that it's, it's almost certainly not a scam. So if you guys want to go ahead and get the, uh, the packs and stuff like that, you might as well do it now, and then you can save a lot of money in the future. This is Dragonfly Todd, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.